Hey buds, long time no see, right? Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna play some scrolls today. Um, so I haven't been playing like the past like two to three weeks, so uh, or maybe even a month. So the rating decay brought my rating down, but I'll try to play some ranked. So I'll play some aggro order. Right now the meta has a lot of different viable decks. Not really late game order, it's more of an aggro order that has a uh, strong force at the top of the ladder. Mono energy structures is strong. Growth is pretty good, and decay is also able to be used. So it's very uh, diverse, and also you can see over the recent weeks, the ladder has shifted greatly. You don't see people like me. Blinky, Pew, Q, as we used to take up like the top three and stuff. It's moving around a lot. I think that's due to the Raiden Decay, and it's nice to see all these new, uh, new uh, people get onto the top, um, top ranks. I think we're still the only one with all achievements, though. So that's pretty cool. All right. Let's see if I can get in a match. You know what? I'm not in the mood to play some ranked right now. I'm gonna have a bit more fun right now. I'm gonna do judgment. Alright. Let's use our gold. Oh wow, we have 50,000 golds already? I... I remember like, sp like spending a hundred... 130,000 when the update came out. How did we get back up to 50 so fast? I haven't even been playing that much. Um, let's see. Bang Bear is good. Oblivion Seeker is great. Um, I think I'll take the Ironclad Reaver just because it's the best thing here, probably. Well, probably a little better than the Grey Block Elder. Yeah, I'll just take it. Um,. I don't know. These these memorials aren't that good, I don't think, anymore. I'll just take the Crimson Bolt because that's obviously the best there. And we're kind of all over the place. We have, like, a good card for every faction. Uh, I guess I'll take the Fang Bear because it's probably the best card of these. And I do have a Crimson Bolt, but it doesn't mean much. Hmm. This, kind of, this row is kind of bad. I'll, I'll take the... Husk over the mangy rat. Mm. Yeah, I'd rather just have a creature. Now I'll take the Ducal Skirmisher, and then I think I'm gonna take the Wing Shield, right? Okay, there's a Fleetness there. Maybe we're in order, I don't know. And there's a Wing Shield. Yeah, I think so far we're order the most. There's a Necrogan. Here I can take a Champion Ring. That could be used on like a Ducal Skirmisher really well and stuff easy to splash growth um so fleetness wing soldier now there's like binary is actually really good in judgment people aren't expecting it we only have one energy card so far or there's dark strike when we go at energy uh decay there's decay guy right here or do i take infiltrate where it's safer because i already have a bunch of order cards infiltrate's not a bad card uh Let's see. Hmm. I don't really see that. I mean, I could take Blind Rage, Clock Library, Our Hearts, Disciple. I mean, Dark Strike, Clock Library, Our Hearts, Disciple. That wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I'm going to go like that because, fine, maybe it will hurt in the end if I end up going order if I didn't take the Infiltrate, but there's a possibility I can be able to get a good Energy Decay deck, so I'll take the Dark Strike. Um, with two Dark Strikes, actually, I think I made the good decision then. So now I'm going to take a Clock Library. Yeah, I think I made the good decision with the Rod Eater, too. Our Hearts, Disciple, Dark Strike, Rot Eater. I'm not doing any rank. I'm going to do rank a different video. Um, so, wait, how many? We have four. 
we were pretty split, but I think we want to go with energy and decay because we have the dark strikes. So right now we're going up to five energy and two, three decay. I mean, I could take the end of reason. That could be instant board clears and stuff, but the Thea is just too good to pass up. Maybe I can get like a power chip to get me up there or something. Here I'll take uh, Vester and Freak or Malevolent Gaze. Vester and Freak kind of sucks. It's like a more expensive rat. Malevolent Gaze isn't that good either, but I guess I could use that. Depending on the situation. Yeah, I can stick all one case, but I could put that on something, use a dark strike, and make you do like three damage, or make you do like ten damage if I have a, uh, if I have a, um, idle destroyed. Now here, blast strike or blind range. I'll take the blind range. It's very nice and just good removal. Um, gen sure proximity charge plating. Mm. Proximity charge just because I don't know. Definitely spark here over the festering freak. Spark is gonna be really nice. Now this is tough. Akumaton or Life Stealer. I don't go to five K right now. I only go to three K, but I have two Dark Strikes, so we could easily get to five. But then Akumaton is going to help me get to that Thea I have. So I am going to go with Akumaton. Well, there's a Brain Lice too. That's nice also. I think I'll go with Akumaton though. Um, there was a brain lice, and I think I'm still gonna take this mass while even though I didn't take the brain race just in case we get a bunch of poison later. Because nothing else in this row really stands out to me. Uh, machine chant, I have what? A proximity charge, that's two structures. I, I'll count that as two. Clock guard, that would be three. Alright, three so far. I mean, nothing else I'm gonna be able to use in this row. So I'll just take the machine chant just because. Uh, blade husk over the festering freak. Another Echomaton over the Viscera Sage. Replicaton or Siege Cracker? I'll take the Replicaton because that's better in Judgment because you're oftentimes split in resources where you're not going to have always an energy card to play, so this guy would maybe will be able to uh, stay around for a while. So Replicaton, Blade Husk, Fury or Iron Whip? Fury is some nice mass countdown reduction. An Iron Whip... I mean, could be used for removal. And Fury does the other side. I'll take the Fury. I think there's a higher chance that works out. Ah, Eager Scryer, Charge Coil, Clock Library. Now, I think Charge Coil will be the best thing to go, but one Charge Coil isn't that strong. I do have Machine Chance, so that'd be nice to choose one of these structures. But then, there's a Pillar of Fatigue here. And a watcher. I think it'll take Pillar of Fatigue and it'll Eager Scry. That's nice. I mean, Pillar of Fatigue is still a structure for Machine Chant, right? It's not like if a Machine Divinator, then I'd take definitely like the Clock Library. And the creature's good, so I'll take this. And I have a. Oh, never mind. I was going to say I have a Champion Ring, but that's in growth. So it's not going to be like a 3 attack thing. Okay, it's Desperation down here. I don't really have any Rotten in it, but I'll still take the Desperation. So I'll take the Eager Scryer. The Pillar of Fatigue, the Desperation, Conduit, or Seeker, I'll take the Seeker. Even the Conduit would be able to get me to like three or something, the Seeker's pretty good. Uh, Desperation, more structures with the Proximity Charge over the Pillar of Disease. Man, I had two Return Sneakers, I probably could have gone Decay Growth, but I think this is fine. Another Echomaton, wow. Uh, bitter root. We're maybe not gonna play that though. Scout automaton. I guess it will help me uh, get those uh, replicasons boosted, or that one replicaton boosted. Here, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna take the risk on a beetle stone and see if we get other ones. It's not like useless contraption is that useful. It's useless. Definitely burn here over the blind rage and morbid curiosity. Um, gray block raider. I have a few desperations. That's nice. Uh, Wicked Being, Arthritis. Wicked Being is actually, a lot of people always call this card like the worst card in the game. In this deck, it wouldn't be that bad. You could put this on something and then use your Dark Strike or your Spark or your Burn and do extra damage. But I think Scattergun or the Creature is going to be better. 
Uh, nothing here. I'm probably gonna play. I'll just take the uh, I don't know the low cost thing. Replicaton or Animavore. I do not have a. I've scat Automaton, so I'll take the Replicaton, and I don't have a, a scavenger construct anyways. So Replicaton. Um, I guess Baleful Witch is nice, but hopefully I can get some more curse. I have a level in gaze, so that could work. Uh, Darkling or Rod Eater? I have to take the Rod Eater, right? Yeah. And here, I guess Pestis, we're probably not going to use it, though. Okay, so let's see. More energy. Let's put in the energy first. Want him because I have two desperations. The Relance guy is really good too. Definitely Spark. Definitely both Dark Strikes. Definitely the Fury. Both Replicatons. The Scout Auto. Scatter Gunner. Blind Rage. Burn. Clock Library. Akamaton. Proximity Charge. Maybe I don't want the Machine Chant. How many structures do we have? Three. We're going to have four because we have one there. And I'll put it in. It'll be a nice ramp to the. Uh, but I do have three Akamatons. We'll see. We'll see. I don't want the bitter root. I don't really want the Huss. I'll put those in later. Neither do I want the Beetle Stone. I'm putting the two Blade Huss. I'll put them in the Gaze. I don't want the Miasma Well. I'll put the R Hearts, Baleful Witch, Scryer, Rod Eater, Pillar of Fatigue, and Oblivion Seeker. Okay, we're two over. Um, thing is, this goes up to five, but I mean, we're probably gonna get to five, to be honest. You know what, I think I'm going to take out the Pillar of Fatigue Eager Scryer combo. Because we only have one Eager Scryer, one Pillar of Fatigue, it's not going to be that easy to pull off. Anyways, our, our deck has a lot of creatures, so I don't want it to hinder the rest of our deck by not being able to move. So it does take out a structure for us. Three structures. But then these, so it's really five structures though, because this I guess could be four because I have two of these. I don't know. I think we could pull it off with the Michigan Chant. Extra removal. And we could always like put the, uh, put the, um, level and gaze on it. So let's see. Decay energy. Or energy decay, I think there's more of that. Okay. I think I spent a lot of time on that draft. What was it like? I think we should be at like 12 minutes, 30 seconds right now. I think I started that long ago. Okay. So, as you know, my past however many videos, I don't edit them. So I really hope I can find a match so you guys don't have to sit here and wait. Yeah, I, ha I, used, to, I used to edit my videos and do cool outros and stuff but I don't know I feel like that's a little bit of waste of time when it's not like I have a huge audience and my audience right now I don't think really cares about having a cool outro at the end so yeah if, it, if this ends up being a long wait time I'm probably still gonna upload the huge wait time um, if you want you can listen to me talk through it but if it is a huge wait time I'll put an annotation like on the screen right now to skip to the part where the game starts. Cause I don't mind uploading a long video. Just I don't want to edit. <laughs> it like doubles, it like triples the time of making a YouTube video because it, just recording this raw file is so easy. I just click record on OBS and then I get a, a file. I don't have to. But then if I have to import Sony Vegas, then change it, then export. It's just so much harder. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, for those of you that are still here and didn't leave because of my uh, not wanting to edit or uh, long wait time, I mean, if it, I think I'll have an annotation to where it actually starts. I think I already put it there. But... If you didn't want to do that, if you wanted to listen to me talk in the wait time, I guess I'll just show you all my decks. Agro Order, Mono Energy Structures, Growth Order, Mono Energy Ranged, Mono Growth, Late Game Order, Decay Growth, 
undead ranged energy I have two of those sex whoops no, this one's different it's soldier minor decay tempo order the difference between tempo and order and aggro order is not that big I feel like tempo order might be better in certain situations well this needs roasted bean potion probably yeah I don't know my aggro order deck doesn't have collars main or faith chains but it, it could be really useful um where was I tempo order tempo 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 oh I'm in the deck so it won't let me sh don't want to show it so let's see where is tempo tempo order tempo order was oh it goes to the top whoops okay so we didn't show gojo's gojo's um energy k mid-range Entry order structures. Okay, there we go. So for those of you that uh, didn't listen to me talk those a uh, couple of minutes, and you just click that annotation to skip when the match actually starts. Hello again. All right. So. Hmm. Okay, starting hand. Even though we have a lower guy in. And uh, the K right now, I think I'm gonna go for the energy because that, like, the uh, the burn can help me come back in card advantage and board advantage, and that couple times will help me ramp a little bit. And I know I have two dark strikes, so I think I can go for energy first. He'll probably have a um, he'll probably have a creature out before which is annoying because he's grow a lot of little creatures and I went second and my first creature is at four resources so if he has a four drop or a three drop okay all right I forgot what the new memorials do so this one is three cost and it's two health all right I'm fine with that okay good I got a creature before him I got a gray black raider um I'll just go all energy right now I'll wait until I get my dark strikes I guess so now I guess I'll Akamaton unless he has something really threatening that I have to burn this turn. Order. Wetland Ranger, I can't even burn that. Ah, it's going to be able to hit me turn after turn. Eek. Um, if I can get a Desperation next turn, so I think that'd be epic. Uh, no, I'm going to sack the Spark. Actually, no, he's, he's, he has a lot of little things. I'm not going to sack the Spark. Let's go Clock Library. And play the Echomaton. Now, hopefully, he like puts a focus on that guy, and I get more energy to kill. Because, as you know, Echomaton gives energy if his attack is more than what he has right now. Okay, he is rapping. Okay, Blind Rage can be really useful, but and that guy only has one countdown. Not sure if anything's gonna happen. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I'll just go with another Akamaton in front. And hopefully he goes for like a uh, Crimson Bull focus thing and kills both Akamatons here. Okay. An Aging Knight. I mean, I kind of wish I kept that uh, Blind Rage because he seems to be clumping. But, like, I don't know. Okay, I think we're going to go for a proximity charge. We could burn this, but we could just move away also. That's also an option. Hmm. Do I want to... Dark Strike.
Do you want to go with a proximity charge to buy me some time? Whoops, I messed up there. Okay. Well, here we go. Come on, go in front of him. 50 50 chance he goes in front of that. Yay! Okay, now that guy. Starts. I mean. Okay. So, I don't think he's going to let this Wetland Ranger die to this. I think maybe he'll let the Aging Knight get blown up and then use this guy to just deal one down. Oh, he is gonna... Okay. So he's gonna go ahead and do that. I'm, fi I'm fine with that. They got rid of one of the Rutland Rangers, which is a bigger threat. And... I'm just going to sacrifice for cards here on the off chance that I can find a... Desperation. Yeah. Or do I just dark strike and do all that stuff to that guy? Yeah, I'll go with the safe bet. I'll just like dark strike and stuff. So there we go. Spark. Dark strike. And deal some damage. Now, hopefully he doesn't kill my backup yeah, on this turn, because I can put out a scout auto next turn to make sure that if he dies, I get my I get my stuff. Or maybe I shouldn't put a scout auto this turn, because I probably want to burn that better, because I don't want him wrapping up. Oh, he dies. Damn it. Okay, it's all good. I really wish we had, like, desperation. Okay, I think I'm going to... I'll sack the Replicaton. No. I'll sack the Ironclad Reaver for cards. Dark Strike is better than the Burn to use. So I'll just Dark Strike him. Okay. We're, we're looking okay. Even though he has board advantage, he has a Great Wolf on the board. We do have removal in our deck. If I can just get, like, I don't know, somehow, like another Spark or Dark Strike soon. Okay. I need like I don't even know how much desperation does. I don't think it kills a great wolf. Okay, um I'm gonna go ahead and burn. And then I'll go and sacrifice Replicaton for the Disciple. What does our heart disciple even do? George Union comment, same alright, it's not that good, whatever. Okay, and then I'll put you over here behind the proximity charge. I'm fine if like, he has some like up damage thing to make him plow through and kill this thing too, but the four damage on that will be awesome. Actually, maybe that wasn't good to be he could have like a ragged wolf, but alright, he went with the ranger's bane. That's gonna kill me. And he doesn't have anything else, which is nice. Now. Machine chant, we have one. I don't think we're gonna have we're gonna be able to use that. I think I'm just gonna go for more energy right now. I'm gonna go for the scout auto and the replicaton. All behind this thing. Okay. Let's see if he's gonna run away or what to get. What is he gonna do? Another great wolf. Ouch! And he's gonna move that way. Hmm. This is gonna be tough. He's two great wolves. I think I like our deck, but it might be hard to counter two great wolves. We both ramped a little bit, but he doesn't seem to have that much order cards. Desperation. I could have used that before when I had the relentless guy, but whatever. And we get Thea. He could get that Thea sooner than you think, actually. Okay, so let's put down the... Move you up here. 
put the Ekamaton in front of you. There we go. I'm gonna heal damage. So now we can't play either of these two cards this next turn. Unless he somehow kills my Ekamaton this turn. Like, I don't know. Duke of Skirmisher. Ouch. Okay, he's three big bad dudes. Ugh. Desperation. I don't have. I, I don't know. You know what? I'm going to sack this Oblivion Zero cards, and we get good. That's actually pretty nice. Proximity charge. Okay. Believe it or not, I'm going to move in with this guy. I want him to die because I want to be able to play the Thea next turn. The only thing that's going to make me come back in this game is probably Thea because I don't have things as strong as these guys except for Thea could be able to try to take him down. Thea Desperation could be epic. I'm going to go for the Proximity Charge here. And do I Baleful Witch? I mean, Baleful Witch could have been good with like the Mulvil and Gaze, but I don't have an Idol Destroyed, so it wouldn't kill this guy. I don't think I have any other curse. I probably should play the Baleful Witch anyways, right? Um, I'm not going to play her. She doesn't get that much board range. She's only a 2 2. Okay, let's see. So now, hopefully. Okay, so he is at least going to kill the Ekamazan. I should be getting energy because if it's. When Ekamazan is destroyed, if attack is 2 or more, so it has 2 attack, and now you have 7. Good. Okay. So, uh, I guess you could say it fell into my trap, but not really. Uh, now what? Blade Husk or Baleful Witch? Both of these kind of rely on for uh, Dominion to be activated, because Baleful Witch I need. Uh, the only curse I have, I think, is Malevolent Gaze. Okay, we're just going to go for the Thea. Hmm. One problem with that. I'm going to sack the Blade Husk. But the problem with Thea is where do I put it? Okay. So. Ouch. Okay, I'm going to put it. Um. I'm not going to put it in harm's way right now. Put it up here. And now I'll see what he does. Okay, so we have resource advantage now. Not by a lot, though. He has board advantage still, I think, even though I have a Thea out. Let's see how long we can keep that Thea alive. Okay, so he is going to take the damage. Please take the damage. Or no, he just... Okay. So he takes out first idol, which could be a problem because I'm, I don't want to engage that side of the board. But if I don't... I might be screwed. You know what? I'm going to keep my dex recycled. So I want to keep this Baleful Witch. I'm going to actually sack the Scatter Gunner. I know it's a risky move, but I really want to... Um, because if I can if I can get a Melvin Gaze, I can kill one of these Great Wolves. And my deck just recycled, so I can do that. And I think I can destroy an idol this turn. Okay. Um, <laughs> yep. So... I want to kill the idol this turn, just in case I draw it. So I am going to kill the idol. I kind of wish. I kind of want to engage with the Thea this turn, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. I'll have the extra resources. Move you back. I'm going to put the you, and I'll put you. All right, I have I have the extra energy, so if this dies, I get it back. So I'll be so happy if he like rallies and goes through this row just to beef up the rod eater and like get this guy's attack higher and everything and I get this guy back okay so now we're even up on idle damage and I think I might be starting to swing this game back into my favor those two great wolves are nasty and that relentless guy right in the middle too they're all three relentless guys and he's a damage booster okay oh boy at least he's taking the damage all right, I can kill that with desperation then. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
Okay, let's go ahead and kill that with a desperation. Ooh, Dark Strike could do, Dark Strike too. Ooh, what do we want to sack? Ouch. Tough sack, tough sack. Um mm -hmm. We definitely have to kill th that low health gray wolf. I think I'll sack the desperation here. Okay. So let's see. That means I'm going to use the dark strike on you. And then Echomaton Raider and cross my fingers. I can survive. <laughs> I guess. I guess that's the plan. I think we're in okay shape though. Unless he has like a billion flips and focuses. And only has one card in hand, so he can't do that much. Okay. Let's see if I can get that malevolent gaze soon. If I, if I draw a malevolent gaze, I'm not going to stack. I'm just going to play it and play the Baleful Witch. I really want to kill that Great Wolf back there. And his deck recycled. Wait, no. Oh, his deck didn't recycle yet. Darn. This is not good because that means he's going to be able to redraw his Great Wolves. Okay, we're going to have to try to win this soon. And I think we can. He's he's engaging us down there. Outcast Rebel, I think that's his only play. Maybe another creature. I don't think he's going to do any like funny business on us today. Or right now, at least. And a Wing Soldier. Right, those Relentless guys really scare me. If he has like a Rally or something, I'm kind of dead. I, the Idol is at 10 health. Echomaton or Baleful Witch? I got I to gotta sack the Echomaton here. I have enough of this resource. Okay, I guess this is a good draw. I'll burn for first so I can see what else other cards I get. I will I will burn maybe I should have saved the burn for like when I have a spark too so I can get the gray wolf, but nah. I'll burn this guy. Proximity charge, that's a nice draw. Uh but the rat's just gonna be able to kill it. Um first of all Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and kill you. Um, yeah. I'm going to move you down. You guys can both stay up there, I guess you there you there you there put you there proximity charge and you okay so a lot of things can die but at least proximity charges will kill him now I have this yeah I think I can win this now unless he can possibly win this turn but he doesn't have enough cards to do that yeah I have this Thea going off that would be nice to redraw my desperation now but then again he might not block this idol but I think he will even if he doesn't block it I still don't have enough to kill it I would need to I, don't, I, I could draw a fury and win if he Fury would be nice. And all these guys are attacking next turn anyways, besides this guy, I guess. Okay. So he's going to go ahead and kill the Rod Eater. That's all he does, so I'm not that worried about that. Desperation. Problem with that. Ooh. I was going to say, problem with that, I can't win because it doesn't have anything in this row. But I can kind of clear this. So I'll sack the Baleful Witch now. Watch me get the mobile on Gaze. I didn't want whatever. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to Desperation U. Yeah. So let's see. Seven. That would be two. That guy is going to have one health. And then it's going to be six. Alright, this barely does all that. So I'll have to keep it like that. And I'm going to save the spark, I guess, maybe. I don't know. I'll put you in front because you're going to, like, serve. You're going to... Oh, I don't care if you die. You have armor, you can be another protector. I don't care if you die, because I'm just going to get it back. Damage on that idol. 
I'll open that idol up. Actually, no, I'll keep that guy in front. He's not doing anything. And the R hearts. Dis I'm gonna save the spark. I'm gonna play the R hearts disappoint. Mm. Back here, he could actually be crucial. You know, th this is actually kind of scary. He could win soon because th these three things all have one health. This goes through all that, but then it's gonna have one health. I'll be able to spark it. It's kind of what I want. Why I want to save the spark because I think he won't do that then. Okay. Why did he thought trap that? Oh, he's moving up. That's what he's doing. I thought he was going to attack down there. Okay. It's completely fine. So now I have six attack there. I'm not probably should have, should have moved him down. Okay, and Fury... I almost win, right? Because this guy would attack, and that guy would attack. That would be seven. I need a little bit extra damage. Uh, I can move this guy down, so that's seven, eight. This has nine. Oh, so close. Up oh, he's GG. Alright, I think I could have won anyways, actually, that turn, because this guy would do one damage to that idol, which would make it have one health. And then I'll be able to go... Nah, I couldn't have won that turn. It would have been close, but I think I would have won the game, though. That was a intense match. A little long. But uh, that was a good judgment match. Um, hopefully all these fun matches back into, will get me back into scrolls, and I'll start uploading more again and get back to the top ranks so thanks for watching everybody subscribe if you really like it uh like the video if you li really like it and um stay tuned for more videos so get on scrolling everybody see you next time